guys and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at using frequency separation in your product photography. So frequency separation is usually used on the skin in beauty retouching but today we're going to use that technique on some products. It's an amazing technique which can be used across various forms of photography not just beauty. So with this picture I'm actually going to be using it to remove these air bubbles in the bottles. So you'll go from this picture to this. Alright so we've got my main picture here and I'm going to duplicate this twice so we're going to go to command J or control J if you're on a PC. So we're going to duplicate that twice. Your top layer is going to be called texture and the bottom layer is going to be called colour. So frequency separation will literally separate your colour and your texture. So you're working separately with those two. So um, it's a really powerful tool instead of just going straight to the clone tool or the healing tool. Okay, so once you've got your two layers, I'm going to go to filter and noise and median. Pixels, which will blur the image. Then with your texture layer, you're going to go to image, apply image, and make sure your layer is set to color. Make sure your RGB, make sure your blending mode is subtract, and then use these options here. So scale is to offset 130, 100% opacity, click OK. And we're just going to turn that one off for now, and we're going to start with the color layer. I'm going to zoom in here. So we're really just going to focus on the colour and tone of this. So I'm going to use clone and heel stamp just to remove the bubble here. Okay. Now I'm going to use the clone stamp to start. For me, I'm just going to go through it and kind of talk you through what I'm doing. Um, and if any of my settings change, then I'll let you know because um, it's quite a intricate sort of thing here. So I'm on healing stamp here, the clone tool stamp, and I'm probably going to switch this to 50% opacity and just kind of work my way around the bubble, just adding in parts of the original image and sort of sampling around. Might even switch to the healing brush tool just to get rid of those lines. If you make a mistake, just press Control Z. And it really is just taking your time a little bit just to remove that. When you use frequency separation often, you'll find that you're going to get really quick at using it, and you might find that it's better for you to use that method rather than straight to the clone stamp tool or the healing tool depends what you need to get rid of um, if it's quite tricky I would ideally use uh, frequency separation if it's more complicated I'm going to switch to the clone and I'm going to go for 20% opacity that looks okay to me. I'm going to scroll down here, the bottom section. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, I'm hoping, just to give you a flavour of what you can do with frequency separation on products. I'm going to switch back to the healing tool just because clone's not quite working for me there. So really I'm just using this to get rid of the line and then I'll use clone tool just to neaten out anything really. Go back to the clone stamp tool, use the S shortcut to go back to that. I'm on 20% opacity. doing this fairly quickly and somewhat rushed 
um, but obviously if you're working for a client you're going to want to do this um, really perfectly. So that's probably as far as I'm going to take it for now. Let's just actually get rid of that highlight. blend that in a little bit more on 60% opacity really you want to kind of switch between different opacities um, obviously zoom out to see what's going on and it doesn't look quite right here so I'm gonna go to history skip back a few steps Now we're going to switch back to the texture layer. So it looks a bit odd now, but don't worry about that. And you can see the line is still there, so it's separated out the that main line and the texture. So I'm just going to use the uh, clone stamp here. I'm going to go to 100% opacity. And whoops, make sure you're on that texture layer. And literally just clone out that line. I haven't done any other retouching on this image, literally just showing you how to remove this bubble, but you can apply it to anything. Okay, that seems fine to me. Scrub down to the bottom here. Again, a clone stamp on 100%. Cool, so that's done. And once you've done that, you want to change your blending mode to linear light. And considering it's been quite a quick little tutorial, it's not too bad that. And you can always adjust little bits, like I will probably put a little bit more light into that, so um, I'd create a new layer and have my brush on 100% and I'm going to select, make sure it's on white and I'm literally going to paint in some highlight there. I'm going to change that blending mode to soft light, put a mask on it, make sure the foreground is on black change that to 50% I'm just going to paint away some of that light pool that I've just added in there just to give it a little bit more depth might even change the opacity a little bit so before and after and that's a really quick way of just removing something that you don't require using frequency separation and I think it works really well on product photography um, especially with something that's quite complicated I think you may struggle to clone out that line um, quickly as well I mean if you've got hours and hours and hours then fair enough but most of the time if you're a professional in the industry you haven't got the time so I think frequency separation can work really well on that all right guys thank you so much for watching this has been a fairly quick tutorial hopefully you've enjoyed it and you've taken away something that you can apply to your own photography and your own images as always you can follow me on instagram at photoshop fran i've got a bunch of links at the bottom in the description if you want to take a look at all of those and i'll see you again in another tutorial take care stay safe i'll see you soon